hi you guys welcome back to my channel and I am going to do a DIY of natural deodorant okay and I made one for myself and made one for my daughter and made two paste out of the same remedy we have 100% unrefined organic coconut oil and we have baking soda okay and so for the sake of the video I've already poured in one tablespoon of baking soda and I'm going to pour two in so this is what two looks like okay and I'm also I've already measured out one cup of uh, my natural coconut oil and I'm going to pour it inside so I measured it out to know how much will go in this little jar because I bought a whole case of these little jars from um, Kinko's and they were really 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 cost-effective and so I'm gonna make a whole jar of this now what you want to remember is that you want to much my, my daughter chose sore muscles now she wants to she loves the smell of this and so she had a few to choose from and so we have different oils that you can mix in with this relaxing stress um, the rejuvenation blend or concentration blend so she chose um, this blend, which was the sore muscle because it has like a eucalyptus smell to it. It smells amazing. So I'm only going to put a few drops in there. I just poured it in there basically. And basically because it's already liquid like this, I can just put the top on it and just shake it up. Normally you have to mix it all together. And let's just see if we can mix it all up together. Look, it's already blended. And I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. See, the bottom is blending. Everything's blending up. If it doesn't, that's where you can go back in and mix it. You always want to remember to not ever mix it with metal. You want to mix it with wood. So I just have my wood stick here just in case it doesn't blend all the way. It looks like some of it is in the corner. It's not going to blend. So I'm going to open it back up. And I'm just going to go inside of it with the wood bottom and just kind of mix it up in there. Let me see. Make sure that it mixes up really, really well. And then I can put this in the refrigerator and let it get hard so that she can just dig out of here. Oh my God, I wish you could smell this. Oh, the smell is intoxicating. So I'm just going to just whisk the rest of this back in the jar. gonna put the top back on and I'm just gonna shake it again and basically guys that's really it this little jar I just measured out now your measurements probably gonna be different depending on what you're gonna put your deodorant in I like to put mine in these cute little jars because I can dig out of it with a deodorant and then I have one specifically for my toothpaste same ingredients I'm going to make one later. Same ingredients, but you don't put the essential oils in. You can put tea tree in there if you want to. You can put, um, uh, what is it? Um, it's another oil. Um, starts with the M. Mineral oil inside of there. Uh, was it mineral oil? Anyway, there's different kind of oils you can put inside of your coconut oil that help you with like tea tree, help you with your gums, keep your gums healthy, and different oils you can use. But I will make a video to show you exactly how to make one with like different type of oil so that you can brush your teeth with it. And this is an oil that I use. I can't remember the name of it. Dang, nabbit. Uh, I want to say mineral oil, but you can brush your teeth with it. It's good to put on your body. Um, it's good for your gums. I'm thinking about making one with that, and I'll show you the oil that I use. I get it from Whole Foods, but I can mix it with the coconut oil and brush my teeth with it and um, have healthy gums and whiten your teeth and different things like that. So um, what I wanted to just be mindful of letting you guys know is that you do have to be mindful. I see a lot of videos coming out with different things saying put lemon juice in your toothpaste. You're not supposed to use lemon juice on your teeth or an apple cider vinegar on your teeth because it is acidic. And it will brush off the enamel on your teeth. And if you brush off your enamel, you only get one set of enamel. It doesn't grow back. So you want to be mindful of the different videos and different people that you listen to when it comes to making DIY type of products. Do more research. 
for what you can and can't use on your skin. Be specific. Uh, actually, be careful about your own blood type and what you are supposed to put on your body. Because some things that somebody say, may I may say use this on your blood type and you may be allergic to whatever's in this muscle sore massage oil. Okay, you may be allergic to this. So you have to make sure that you... Uh, Check out what your blood type is and what you can and can't put on your skin. Because whatever you put on your skin, whether you put under your arm or whatever, it is your armpits are have conductors under there, basically. So if you put a lot of chemicals under there and things like that, it will clog up your blood. It will clog up your body. It will give you different type of body problems that you won't even attribute to putting deodorant under your arm. So that's why I go natural and I use different types of uh, natural oils and stuff for our skin. So um, you don't even have to put this in the refrigerator if you like your oil oily, because some people do. You can just use it just like this. But I want to make sure that I work with the consistency of two spoonfuls is not enough when you use it one time and you realize your body. Sometimes you have to use it more than one time to get your body used to using a natural deodorant. And then you play with the consistency of some people add cornstarch to take care of the sweat because sometimes this will not stop your sweating. You'll still sweat, but you won't smell. Okay. But if you want to add more baking soda to it to change the consistency so you don't smell at all. My one I made for my daughter, I use a little bit more baking soda. She said, I don't smell at all anymore. I use she just dip in there, put some on her armpit in the morning. When she say I go to gym, I work out, she go to school. And then she's a coach at a gymnastics gym, and then she does gymnastics herself. And she said, "I can do all that with one at one application in the morning." And she don't she don't sweat. She, say she may sweat. She started sweating at first, but then her body got used to it. No smell all day. That is amazing. So I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna make her another jar, but this time I'm gonna add oil to it." <sighs> you can just smell it coming from the jar, guys. And it's going all up through my nose. It smells intoxicating. <laughs> so amazing. So this is a little bit more eucalyptus slash mint slash lavender slash it has so many different smells to it. It's a sore muscle one, but it smells really, really amazing. So that's the end of the DIY coconut oil baking soda deodorant. I also use the same recipe for my D uh, for my bake for my uh, toothbrush uh, regimen in the morning to whiten my teeth. And to, um, you know, make sure that my gums are healthy with the coconut oil and the baking soda, good breath, and all kind of things like that. If you've ever had metal in your teeth, if you've ever had dental issues, this will help you with good breath. Also, cranberry juice helps you with having great belt and mint. If you eat mint, like put it in your water and cook with it, put it in your salads. It's good for good breath, so you don't have to use gum because gum has a lot of chemicals in it. Mint, some a lot mints have a lot of chemicals in it unless you get natural stuff from Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. A lot of those gums and mints and stuff like that have chemicals in it. Lots of lots of chemicals. We don't even know what they are. Can't even pronounce the name, Sean. So anyway, stay healthy and stay wise. Okay. Dr. Goddess Mona here. I'll be coming back with more DIY. If you want to get more DIY, please give me your suggestions, what you're looking for. I use apple cider vinegar to wash my hair, to make my hair grow locks, my locks grow longer, and to keep my hair smelling good and smelling fresh because I swim a lot. So I keep my hair from falling out with all the chemicals that I swim from the pool and my gym. And um, a lot of different things I use. I use a scrub. This is the same thing I use as a scrub for my face. Okay, clear skin, no blemishes ever. I use the same type of ingredients for my face. Now, I use maybe lavender in mine instead of using this muscle thing. I use the same thing because a scrub, you want to use the oil as a scrub on your face in the morning and at night. Take off your makeup, coconut oil. It's going to be like a nice little scrub for five minutes. I'm going to do a DIY tonight and show you how I do my scrub. I might use the same recipe, but maybe I'm gonna use something different because I like my lavender smell. So I'm gonna make a ne another one and use lavender. So you see how the setup is starting to settle, they coat the uh, baking soda. And so you want, it's, it's starting to settle a little bit at the bottom. So you wanna make sure you shake it up good. Okay. Because you want them to blend. You really want it to blend well. So you give it a good, 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 good shake. Plus it's an arm, good arm exercise. I do everything to 
always firm on my arms. <laughs> I'm always doing things to do to firm my arms up. So I'm gonna smell it again. I wish I could have you. Oh, the coconut oil and the oil mixed together. Oh, and freaking intoxicating. Okay. Intoxic. I think my daughter's really gonna like this one. So now she can use her the other one that I got her for um, just her toothpaste because I made her one for a toothpaste. I made her the same jar. So I was like, use it for your dinner and toothpaste because I forgot to make two, so I just made you one. So now I made her this one specifically for her deodorant and she can use that one just for her toothpaste, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing for myself. So I have one more jar to make. I'm gonna come back and show you how I make my toothpaste. But really, it's the same video without the oil in it. You can put whatever kind of oil you want, so. That's it, and I have this amazing oil left over, so of course, it's not gonna hurt my hair, since I just washed it last night from coming from the beach with my daughter and her gymnastics, her last gymnastics competition. It was quite amazing. Now, we were waiting for the storm to stop so we can go to our gym and get in the jacuzzi and get in the pool and get in the sauna and get in the steam room, so that's where we're heading to. I'm just going to use the rest of the oil to put back in the jar because I'm going to use this later. Okay, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to click and subscribe to my channel. And uh, stay tuned for my, um, tonight I'm going to take my makeup off with the same regimen. Maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my own and then I'm going to show you what I do to take it off. Because I just go through my jar, put a little bit in my hand. Scrub all my makeup off, the eyeshadow, the mascara, the little foundation I put off it. Even my lipstick, I scrub it off on my lips. So my lips actually start feeling, oh, they're so freaking soft. You can't tell because I've eaten off half of my lipstick, but they're so soft now. They stop peeling, and my around my mouth is really, you know, I have like some little fine hairs kept growing out. That's been helping that. And just my skin is just so freaking soft. I wish you could feel it. Um for a skin of a 48 year young lady okay this is my skin okay so I'm going to show you my regimen and show you how to keep your skin youthful with no blemishes and how to keep it succulent and how to use a body scrub I might even do a video of me in a bathing suit and the water in the shower and show you how to do a whole body scrub that might be nice won't it <laughs> you can use the exact same scrub here scrub your body down because you're going to feel effervescent and you're going to smell amazing and you're going to put that oil all over your breast and all over your bosom and on your vagina and on your wand of light for the guys and it's going to smell good and be soft now you want to be careful because there's granules from the coat from the um baking soda inside of here so it does have like a little scraping mold but it always makes your skin rejuvenate and um elasticity is better and the texture and the softness of it is better so you want to make sure that you you can use it all over especially for your feet if you have nasty crack feet okay you want to get that done you can use them on the bottom of your feet i think i might go get a foot massage right now anytime it rains i want to go into the movies go out get something to eat go get a foot massage or go to the gym i think i'm about to do a combination of all those things okay <laughs> because i can so anyway stay tuned um dr goddess mona here thank you so much for tuning into my video but i'm about to go out since it actually stopped raining i'm gonna go to the gym and enjoy my spa gym there's a steam room a jacuzzi all in the latest locker room okay we have a movie theater a movie room in our locker room we have a inside and outside pool. We have an Olympic size pool that's warm and cold. And then outside we have an Olympic size pool and an Olympic size jacuzzi. You can swim in the jacuzzi. It's how big the jacuzzi is. So, um, so that's why I love to go. I pay my membership is quite expensive. Well, not expensive. I think I, I, I attract money, so I don't think anything is too expensive for a goddess. So it's it's way more than 24-hour fitness, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Four times the amount. Just know that. But it's worry worth it, and a goddess should have anything that she wants. Okay, so I'm going to do a video about that, too, about what a goddess should and should accept, should, should and should not accept in a relationship. I have been having a lot of requests about that, and I definitely want to help my ladies out to attract real love and true divine love and soulmate love we all want that okay 
So stay tuned.